Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General reading. This is for the element of water. Uh, so if you're Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of June 30th through July 2nd, 2023. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. All right, so you have the overall energy as the Ten of Swords, Six of Cups, the Hanged Man, the King of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Coins, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so I feel like you guys uh, have been having a lot of dreams or maybe it feels like certain things that have been revealed to you in a dream. If you haven't been dreaming, it could be that you've been daydreaming or kind of fantasizing about um, different things that you want in life, especially if you are wanting love or relationship, a child. Um, but it seems like you've been doing a lot of daydreaming. And yeah, it seems like, you know, certain things also could be revealed to you when you sleep in a certain position, especially maybe like if you sleep on your stomach, um, certain things are coming to you. Um, I also feel that a situation is like coming to an end or may have recently ended, especially um, when it comes to like former beliefs that you had, former beliefs that you were holding on to. Like something may have happened where you just come to some sort of realization um, and you're just kind of like releasing the past. Um, even if you felt like someone was a soulmate, you might be letting that idea go. Um, something could be going on in regards to an air sign. It's possible that uh, this is someone who's coming towards you, or maybe you're already involved with this person. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. Um whoever this is this is someone who is just like very uh straightforward uh blunt this person may also come off um uh kind of harsh but maybe that is also something that you need regardless of how sensitive you are um sometimes maybe you like when someone just kind of like gives it to you straight um, so I do feel that there is someone around you who is very real, very authentic, um, very honest. Um, this could be someone who also helps to give you clarity. You yourself could be this way. You could be coming off with the characteristics that I just named. Maybe people view you as someone that's just very straightforward, very direct. Um, you also may find yourself setting boundaries with people or even like with the universe, just kind of like telling the universe what you want or what your expectations are. Like, don't bring this to me anymore, universe, or this is what I want, universe. It seems like you could be coming off very demanding with you know, what it is that you want in the world. Um, and it is possible that you could be speaking something into existence. Um, someone around you could have green eyes or hazel, or maybe you are someone that has a uh, green or hazel eyes. Um, mm. I also see this as envy. There could be someone that envies you or you envy someone. 
I kind of feel like somebody is being envied for the fact that they are very genuine or um, authentic. Um, and it's just like, that's how I want to be. Like, I wish I could just be straightforward like that. Um, I wish I could just not care what people think or say. So I kind of feel like there is a little bit of envy there. There is also a possibility of someone opening up. If someone has been withholding uh, a secret or secret information, they could uh, decide that they're ready to uh, share this truth or just be very honest. Mm. There also could be something significant in regards to another water sign or a Capricorn. You might find yourself wanting to stay close to family or people that you love. Mm. Something's going on with family. Maybe you're staying with family or there's a family member that might be staying with you. Now, I see in one place where you have let go of some sort of um, ideas or beliefs, like I said, but then it kind of looks like something's going on where you're like, well, this one I'm keeping. Like I let go of this or I gave this up or I gave that up. I don't want to let go of this. I still hope that I have this one day. And it's something that you still want that you're not willing to let go of. Maybe in life you've had to, you know, let go of a lot of your dreams or like you had a checklist to to uh, be completed by a certain age and you just get to the point where you realize like that's not realistic for me at this time you know um, so I had to give up these desires or this idea but this one I'm not letting go of mm. now there also could be um, Something about a family expanding. You might be dreaming about somebody having a baby or maybe you feel like you're having a baby. Mm. And then just in general, I feel like there is a part of your life that is coming to an end. Um, maybe you've been working at a company for so long and you're, you know, getting ready to move on to something else. Um, but I kind of feel like there is something going on where it's like, it's coming to an end. I feel that someone could potentially help you um, awaken or activate your third eye or sharpen it, enhance it. Okay, so I'm seeing another situation here where there's been distance between you and another person. And that could be because it's getting ready to come to an end. Um, I feel that two people are very good at withholding feelings or standing back. Two people are just very good at that. Um... So it's possible that you and an air sign um, or you and an earth sign 
are just both keeping your distance from each other. And you both have strong beliefs that you're holding on to where it's like, no, um, I'm right. You know, I know I'm right. Or I'm not bending my will for you. Or, you know, there's a strong energy. Maybe it could also be that someone is fed up, especially if somebody felt like they were always doing what the other person wanted. And now it's just kind of like, I'm not doing that anymore. Mm. I kind of feel like, um, I kind of feel like maybe you're unaware too that someone has cut you off. Like maybe you're minding your own business, um, but you're unaware that someone is like done or no longer speaking. It still has to do with someone living in their truth. You might find yourself with some sort of new ideas. Um, if you're creative, you might have like all these ideas coming to you and you're like, oh, I know what I need to do or I know how uh, I want to do this now. And it seems like something has opened up to you and you have clarity and direction. Um, yeah. Also, if you have been having some sort of mental block, um, I feel like now something's happening where now you have some understanding on what it is that you're needing to do. You also could receive some sort of a answer in a dream. Something comes to you in a dream. Um, hmm. I feel like you're going to start seeing signs um, to help give you clarity or it's like clues in regards to the path that you're supposed to be on. You're going to start getting clues, signs, confirmations that you're going in the right direction. Especially if you've been stuck in regards to um, a career, like what you need to do in regards to career. But it also could have been like if you felt stuck in a relationship and you're like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, something starts to become more and more clear for you. And I feel like the more actions you take towards... Um, what spirit is guiding you to do the more clarity you're going to have like things are going to start opening up and becoming more and more easy for you the, i feel like the the easier something gets it is kind of like a, a sign that yes this is what you're supposed to be doing In regards to finances, you might be thinking about making some sort of investments. Maybe someone also gave you some sort of information about what you need to invest in and you're just kind of seriously thinking about it. Um, I feel like that you're returning to a past desire. It doesn't have to be a person or relationship, although it could be. But it could be in regards to career, like, you know, you used to dream about being this or you used to daydream about being that. And then I feel like there could be an opportunity for you to actually 
pursue that dream now. Maybe you had given up on that dream or you had let go of that dream. Um, like I said, because you had got to a certain point in life where you just felt like, you know what, maybe it's not in the cards. Maybe that's not going to happen. And then I feel like, you know, it's going to start to blossom. Something starts to blossom. In a love situation, though, I do feel that somebody has been thinking about you a lot uh, or vice versa. I feel that somebody is maybe wanting to make amends. If it's about two people wanting to come back into your life, um, one person you may accept and the other person you may reject. I feel like you're preserving yourself. Um, seems like you're preserving yourself. You're preserving your energy. I feel like you're also keeping to yourself. Mm. I also kind of get the energy of someone maybe watching over you. Mm, and not to spook anybody, but I kind of feel like there could be like a spirit in someone's yard. Maybe it's in the form of a bird and there's always this bird in the tree looking at you. Um, but, you know, I kind of feel like there is a spirit in somebody's yard and it's being protective. Something could be going on with career or finances. Whatever is happening, you're choosing you. You're like, I choose me. Mm. I also feel that you may be keeping something to yourself. Um, you're making some sort of secret arrangements and you're not sharing them with other people or like you've made some sort of decision but you're not telling people about this decision that you've made. Okay, so some of you may not be on speaking terms with a family member or you feel kind of distant with them. Mm. In a love situation, if someone that you were connecting with suddenly disappears or becomes distant or cold, I feel that they are possibly returning to a past relationship and they're considering talking things out or getting back together. Um, hmm.
I feel that family needs to heal. A family situation needs healing. You could be praying for a family member or maybe you're doing things to bring healing to your family. If you've been feeling like an outcast um, compared to your family, you might decide that it's time for you to just like go your separate ways from family. And someone also maybe is feeling like a burden. Um, either you could be feeling like a burden to your family uh, or a family member views you that way. All right, so let's pull some energy cards. All right, additional messages for water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. have the garden and the gate. You have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, victory, overall in energy, the world. Um, so it does seem like you've reached the end of some sort of cycle and it is time for you to make a decision, you know, are you ready to step into that new um, that new cycle in your life? And I feel that you know something is calling you to go ahead and take that step. So it's like you're having to follow your heart. You're having to fo follow your intuition. Um, and it does look like you're going to have um, victory over whatever obstacles have been in the way. Um, and like I was saying earlier, it seems like the closer you get to, um, like you're gonna know that something is for you because it just, it, things get easier and easier along the way. Um, you're not having as many obstacles that maybe you had been in the past or you see other people that want the same thing that you want and they're having such a difficult time but it's easy for you like doors are just opening up for you and i feel like that's because something is for you um so i feel like you're gonna feel at peace mm. and then it's funny because these look like dates to me the 29th which is today and then tomorrow being a 30th um, so I feel that tomorrow it's like you're being prepared to go ahead and step into that new reality for yourself, whatever it may be. Um, it could be that, that dream job, that dream relationship, but it's, I feel like it's something that you've really been wanting. Um, if your heart chakra has been blocked, I feel that there's going to be a removal of that blockage. Uh, there could be something uh, activating it. Mm. And again, I'm getting the energy of you possibly wanting to leave a situation or go away, which includes moving or relocating. And I feel like maybe it's time for you to go ahead and do that. Something that you want may be at a distance, but I feel like you're going after it. All right, so hopefully these messages help, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending love and grace.